Hey guys, I'm back. Well, you know, the shipping schedule of this box is a complete and total mystery to me. But at least it's here. So, September's Shit Hits Fan Box just arrived. It is, uh, it is just into October. And it's here. Yay! At least it's here, right? It's here. So, Tato the Destroyer is out here with me. Um, as is his chicken. I'm not feeling super great today, so I'm just going to get to the unboxing. I promise more shoutouts are coming soon. For the unboxing today, this came in the last battle box. We're just going to use this. Oh, nice. I forgot the actual title, but nice simple blade holder. Opening this box upside down has been a go-to, uh, always works great solution of getting this first every time. So I see some cool titles of things right up front. The Bug Out Field Knife, that's great for us considering what we're building right now. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, the Revelator Machete. We're going to do the usual stuff. We're going to take everything out um, and then look at it in order on the card. Okay, so I got everything laid out. Um, you might not see the organization, but in, in the different uh, groupings that they come in. So we've got the, the Elite Box here. The Elite Box means we've got everything in the Primary, in the Pro, and in the Elite. Some of you might be confused. This used to be the Basic Box. Hey, Ethan. You got a pickle? Delicious. So these different items, the way the box works, um, you can subscribe to either the Primary, the Pro, or the Elite. Uh, if you subscribe to the primary, you get this, the pro, you get this and this, and the elite, we get everything. So we'll be going through, looking at the values. Remember that the values are MSRP. You may find this stuff cheaper. If you just look in the Bud K catalog, you're going to find it for exactly this much, because that's pretty much where almost all the stuff comes out of. So when they talk about the value of the box, that is an MSRP value. The price never changes. So your price, that's how much you're going to pay for these boxes month to month, every time. So let's start off by going through the primary box with a oh, another uh, multifunction paracord bracelet for $4.99. Actually, that's a pretty good price for these Sir, things. I have mail for you. Sorry, my very respectful phone just let me know that I have mail. What? Can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Can you hand me see the bracelet? Yeah. Can you hand me the bracelet? Yeah. Right there. All right, so um, we've got standard kind of 550 cord bracelet. Again, $4.99 for these things, not bad. You might find them a little cheaper, but I see them go a lot. Like in the BX, they used to sell these kinds of things for like $9.99. Um, BXPX, for those of you not familiar, that's like the military store on base. Um, but that's like even for ones that don't come with the, the compass and the whistle. And this has, there's a little ferro rod in there and a little scraper. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it as soon as I'm done um, showing it to the camera, okay? So, Trailblazer, you'll find this brand at Walmart and in catalogs. Uh, looks like there's nothing, you know, some of them come with a plastic tube with other tools uh, inside there. This one doesn't have that, but it's a good length of 550 cord. Does it say, it doesn't say how long the 550 cord is, but so you carry your cord and a couple other tools on there. $4.99, not bad. Um, I'm gonna try to only rate it as not just what I like, but you know, it's usefulness. So it's not a bad thing to have. Useful items, I, I still don't wanna put it in the I like it pile, I wanna put it in the man pile. But I will put it in the I like it pile because people have asked me to stop just rating it based on what I like and on the overall usefulness and, and kind of quality of the thing itself. So, um, this could be a very good thing to have out in the field. So we'll put this in the I like it pile. But first, uh, Ethan is going to take a look at it. There you go. Um, next, we're looking at an aluminum waterproof capsule for $9.99. Now, I happen to have in my pocket, if you watched my EDC video, my little tiny aluminum capsule that I carry with some uh, key medication in there. This is a much bigger one, much heavier and much harder for me to get into. I can't really pull much on my left arm still. Thank you. So, let's see. 
Uh, I just thought it was going to be very squeaky threads, but nice smooth threads. Um, I don't know if this is anodizing or coating, because we've got some spots in there where it's just not done, but much bigger, much heavier. Oh, we have to squeak here, maybe? No, not really. Now there's the squeak. Um, anybody geocache? I was into it for a little while, and then I kind of stopped. This is a great geocaching um, canister. Yes, sir. Do you need this? Not yet, but we're going to need it soon, and you can you can hold it for me when we need it. Uh, so, you want to you take a look at it? Go ahead. I'll go hold it for you. Thank you for holding it for me. You're a big help. So things like this, though, if you have, um, I don't know, just general stuff. The, the, this I like, because something like this from another company would be a lot more than $9.99. And... You could put a lot of stuff like in things like this. What I like best about it being aluminum like this is I could do a lot of different custom work on it, uh, whether it's Cerakote, Hydrographics, stenciling, a combination of both. Um, and it's rugged, you know, it's got strength, uh, aluminum, in this shape really can take a lot of abuse. And you could put a few critical key items in there and really protect them. So this is going to go in the I like it pile. Oh my god, two items straight and I like it in <laughs> shit it's fan box. Um, this should be a holiday. So next, self-adhesive non-slip wrap for $6.99. Uh, okay, so this is gear wrap. This is, it looks like something that we used to call in the medical field Coflex. Ethan, can you not squeeze your pickle? Things as a parent you never thought you'd say. Uh, we used to call this Coflex. Um, now, with the name of Coflex on it, I'm sure it's much more expensive. Um, and it's a great all-purpose wrap. So, yeah, this says gear wrap, but you could use this as a uh, bandage. Not a dressing, but a bandage. <clears throat> and it's... Anybody that's given blood lately or had a blood test, um, you've probably gotten something very similar to this on top of it. We used to use it all the time on top of dressings <clears throat> because... Thanks. Okay. Because it applies pressure. It's self-adhesive. You can wrap gear with it when it's counts right. This stuff's pretty good. I haven't bought some on my own for a while. Uh, I know that you can buy this stuff in Walmart, drugstores, whatever, um, in different colors. I'm sure you can get the camouflage stuff, too. I'm not sure about the price. This stuff is pretty good to have in a bag, because you can do... Hi, Tato. Giving it a sniff? Um, you do all sorts of stuff with this. Not only, like, first aid, not only wrapping your gear, but you can use it construction-wise. Like, if you need to... Uh, you can use it to, to bind things together and make shelter or whatever. So, again, I'm not sure about the price right now, but I'm going to put this in. I like it just because of its usefulness. And I don't think it being Trailblazer versus Johnson & Johnson really matters. Three for three. I'm looking for signs of the apocalypse or, you know, the end of the world coming. Okay, here's one that has potential. Fixed blade field knife, $14.99. We have a fixed blade field knife. Bug out. So this is the bug out field knife I was talking about. Hmm. Oh, I love seeing those words. Oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be special. Handcrafted in China. You know what I'm already thinking? What are you guys thinking? I'm going to give it a few seconds, and then I'm going to answer. What are you guys thinking? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, like, Mora clone, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, my shoulder. Well, not exactly, actually. Hmm. Well, do you guys see that? Do you guys see that blade bending off to the right just a little bit? I don't know. So, there's number one. I am highly doubting, even though there's a piece of metal here, that it is a full tang that wraps all the way around to there. But, a little bit of a, uh, a clip point Bowie type blade there. So you've got plastic for the majority of your handle within rubber kind of onlays or overlays, which gives it a pretty nice, a pretty nice grip actually. Um, we have no idea what kind of steel it is, of course, you know, right now. And, and I, there might already have been text on the screen by the time you see this, if I ever find it out. I, I doubt we're going to find out anything more than just stainless. Um, that little can't outwards is killing me but 
that might be a, a nice practical blade. I would want to put this more in the 999 realm than the 1499 realm. Um, for either of those prices, you can get a really good Mora with similar construction. Um, minus the rubbery stuff here. But at least, you, you know, it's, it's a known quantity. You know exactly what kind of steel you're getting. The sheath here has very Mora-esque clipping. Um, what it has that Mora doesn't is actually it's a really secure fit in there, though. It has some strap loops there, so you could strap it onto your gear. Interesting. I need to get some paper and some 550 cord. I mean, I've seen much worse blades. It seems to have a little hiccup right there when you get to the curve in the belly. Okay. What, Ethan? I'm going to shovel. You going to shovel? Yeah. Shovel away. Okay. All right. I'm not going to beat a dead horse on that one. Let's take some cord. Okay, you dig. All right, no, but slicing it does it does cut fairly easily. So this is another one where I think it's it's worth putting some effort into testing out, with a little bit of attention to the edge, just a little bit of honing. Because of the price, and because out of the box, if you needed this right out of the box to work. I'm sure we could do some work with it, but it would be a little bit of a pain right now. I'm going to put it in math. If they put a little bit more time into actually refining it and finishing, you know, blade is canted out. It's not sharp. It's sharp, but obviously, you know, obviously not. Mm, I mean, it fit and finishes. Fit and finishes. What I'm really looking at here. Fit and finish leaves a lot to be desired. So I'm gonna put it in meh, because I think it has potential, but especially for $14.95, I mean, for $14.95, there are a lot of knives you can get that are just perfect to go out of the box. And it should be, it should be, so. Next we've got, oh my God, really? I wanna, I wanna show you that, so you know what I'm making up? Tactical Molly Shiv for $5.99. It says Shiv, I'm gonna make that up, Shiv. I did not notice that as I was, I, I, I just saw Tactical Molly, I saw Tactical Molly. It is a Tactical Molly shift. Now, first of all, I've seen these for $1.99. So the price we know right there is, is already out. I can't believe it's called a Tactical Molly shift. That's phenomenal. So here's some jute type string, I guess, to make it a neck knife. I'm guessing they, uh, is that rust in there? What is that in there? I'm guessing they just take this blade and put, which is not sharp at all. Not even on the front. I, I don't know a lot about shivs, but I know they probably need to be sharp right up here. Um, it's a shame, like this has a good feel to it. This, it's, it's a hard rubber. I think I felt a few raindrops here. But, oh, China, 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 China. Let's see. So you got these detents in there, and that locks it in. The whole thing is like that hard rubber. Wow, you dug up a thing. Good job. I have no idea. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't, how does this open? Oh, see, so this just pushes through, and then... All right, what makes this molly? I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So you can hang it there for the neck knife, and then this thing is, guys, I'm at a loss. Where, is this supposed to, uh, all right. I don't know where the molly, does this connect to like pals webbing or something? I, I, I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. Uh, it would take, you know, it's 440C I think I saw, yeah, so it wouldn't be the world's toughest reprofiling, but you'd have to 
really work on all these edges to get it to do anything. So this is like uh, a piece of garbage is what it is. Okay, so we got our first don't like it. Um, now, if any of you guys out there do like it, oh, look at how they show. Oh, that's great. Tied to a boot so you can kick it or <laughs> a little spear. Awesome. Okay, this isn't don't like it right here. I don't like it. Um, yeah, this is just, it's to me, it's like not even worth the time. However, I probably will work with it a little bit and see what I can do in terms of sharpening. Um, it's going to take a lot of work to reprofile that edge. Crappy. Okay, and then finally, a bullet ice tray for $4.99, which I'm not even going to... This is a cool novelty item. It's not even that cool a novelty item. Um, I don't know. Somebody might think it's a cool novelty item. You doing good digging, huh? See, I don't want the dirt, though. No, thank you. So you see, you fill it all the way up with water, and then you put the top on, and the extra squeezes out. And then you have ice that looks like bullets. So, if you, if you like the novelty stuff, that's cool. Um, we're talking shit hits the fan. What's the chances you're going to have ice refrigeration, let alone running water to do this with? Um, now, I get it. Sometimes it's just novelty stuff. I, okay, but I'm not. This is going to don't like it. I don't think it belongs in the box. You might think it's cool, and that's fine, but I just think it's a wasted item. I think they put a space filler in there, and I'm not happy with it. So, bam. Now, again, if people like it and they want to see it in the giveaway, it can definitely be a giveaway item. Um, you know, but there's that. So there is the primary box. You will pay $19.99 a month for that, and they say the MSRP value is $47.94 for September. Now, stepping up to the Pro Box, which will cost you $49.99 a month, which includes all that stuff, starting next with the Stainless Steel Gravity Hook for $29.99. Now, they say Stainless Steel Gravity Hook. The box calls it a multifunction grappling hook. So, uses a grappling hook, a gravity hook, a bottle opener, an emergency weapon, and more. Two rubber O-rings there. I don't know, there's absolutely no instructions in here, so I guess, is this extra? Like, I don't... I'm not sure what this does, exactly. I mean, there's... I have no idea what this does. Is this the bottle opener? Does it work with this somehow? I don't... Or is this like another piece that you can put on here? I don't know. But... That's cool. Interesting. I'm, I think it has some uses. I don't know... I grabbed it. That is actually pretty interesting. Gravity hook, I guess. Cool. Grappling hook, I can see how that works. Uh, it's a lot easier than I, what we got before about the do-it-yourself, make-it-your-own grappling hook. And you can be like, crab people, crab people, crab people. Um, I wish there was instructions, though, because the truth is I just I don't know what to do with this piece. shark? Ethan says it's a shark. Um, it's gonna be a nifty thing. I could I could actually see how you could use this to do some stuff. Is it worth $29.99? Uh, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. I think we could probably find it for less. It's starting to rain. But I'm gonna put this in. I like it because I think right away just messing with it just a little bit shows me that it's got some functions. Again, I'd, I'd love, you know, maybe if I look around on the internet, I can find some instructions on what to do with the extra pieces and stuff. This is nothing I've ever messed with. I uh, don't know what to do with it. Does this have anything to do with it? I, I, I don't know, you know, like left to my own devices to figure stuff out. And sometimes leaving me to figure stuff out on my own is the most dangerous possible solution for anything. Um, but I'm definitely gonna put this in, I like it. 
I think I can have fun with this. So bam. You know what? We're just gonna finish the video out here in the rain. Hopefully the camera doesn't get too wet. And then we have the aluminum fishing pen for $9.99. Here's the aluminum fishing pen for $9.99. Fish anywhere. Expands to 38 inches, solid brass reel. Um, it does not come with any fishing line, which I'm assuming you would probably need. Does this come off too, or like how does this work? Ah, there we go. Okay, I don't think I was supposed to take this part off. I think this part was supposed to say firmly implanted in here. He's not sure how to do, oh, okay, I get it. So this fits here. I'm getting it. You're gonna get to see it. You're gonna get to play with it. And then this rod, or this ring, locks the wheel in place. Okay. Now you got your fishing rod. Yes, here, you can see the fishing rod. I don't know, for $9.99? Not bad. I, maybe we can find that for cheaper. I don't know how strong it is and how big a fish you can actually catch with it. Um, I think I'm going to put it in... in meh. I feel like this is just more kind of novelty. I don't feel like this... Is anything that would stand up to any real use like this? That it just kind of collapses. It does. There's no. There's no real. Um, there's no real function that holds that out there. Um, so I'll put it in math because I think it might be fun to use. Um, but overall, I just. I. I just. I don't think this is gonna survive very well, but it might be fun to use for a little bit. So that's the Pro Box. So all this stuff, retail value $87.92. The Pro Box is $49.99 a month. Into the Elite Box. So Life Straw Personal Water Filter for $19.99. Can you give me the white one, Ethan? The white baggie over there. Yep, that thing's. So Life Straw is actually um, a, a pretty good filter. So I'm not going to open this obviously because Life Straw, you know, we want to to last. Um, this is a great item to have actually. This is going to go in the I like it pile. Um, this might go in the bug out bag. So if you are looking for a straw and you don't see one that filters out actual microorganisms, it just filters out like contaminants like silt and dirt and stuff, you don't want it. You definitely want one that filters out bacteria that filters out protozoa like these are good ones and i've seen ones that don't filter out microorganisms they just filter out you know um, they make water look clear but they don't filter out stuff like that 19.99 i think is actually a good price for a life straw I, they're not cheap um, you don't want to scrimp and and you don't want to uh be cheap when it comes to a good water filter like this so that'll go in the like it pile now we have a five ounce stainless collapsible cup for $4.99. Ethan, do you want to hand me the cup now or do you want to keep digging? Uh, now you can give me the little box. This one? Yeah, you can give me that one. What does the box? Thanks. Yeah, you want to see what it does? Watch what it does. Oh, it's actually, for some reason, it's big. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, cool. Here, you hold on to that one. Watch what it does. Take the cover off, and it turns into a cup. Can I open mine? Yeah. Let me open yours. It's a cup. So, your basic foldable steel cup. Useful, cool. Five ounces, we know exactly what it holds. Good stuff to have. F-16s overhead. Sweet. Air National Guard on duty. Put these in, I like it. $4.99 for two of them. Good items to have. I love the fact that we know exactly how much they hold. Cool stuff. That Ethan's bag. Put them right there. All right, moving on. We have a chocolate chip cook, sorry, a chocolate chirp cookie 
for $6.99. $6.99 for a cookie. Well, let's take a look at this chocolate chirp cookie from Cowboy Cricket Farms. 30 crickets. 10 grams of protein, 30 crickets. What is that? Is this made with crickets? What the hell does this mean? Um, it literally means it's made with crickets. Is that why it's $6.99? Insects may cause allergic reactions to those allergic to shellfish. This is a cricket cookie. Okay. Awesome. So, okay, I see. It's a, it's a, like a, like a protein cookie. It's got 250 calories. Cool. It's got 10 grams of protein. Awesome. It's made with 30 crickets. They're organically fed, corn-free and soy-free cricket diet. I don't want to eat a cricket cookie. <laughs> I don't want this. Um. I'm putting it in meh. I just, I, I don't even want to talk about it. What? I'm on a cookie bit. Cricket diet. Okay, that's made with bugs. Wait, what? Yeah, why? Exactly. Why? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Is this a cookie? I don't know, buddy. I don't know what that is. You want to eat it? Yeah. You want to eat that? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you for making my point. Nobody wants to eat a cricket cookie. Yeah, that's gross. Yes, that's gross, exactly. But in an emergency, in an emergency, 250 calories, 10 grams of protein, 699 bug cookie. Awesome. So we only have one item left, and it is the Revelator. Pack of wood machete. Revelator. Yeah, you want to see? It's a big knife. <laughs> that so, yeah, you want to pull that out? Whoa. Hey, you took it all the way away. You got to bring it back so I can put it on the video. Mm. Yeah, it's stuck. Let me look at it and then I'll let you see it, okay? I don't want to see it. Okay. Go back to doing your work over there. He's debarking the stump. So, nicely fit. Pack of wood handles. Scales, I mean. We've got a zippered nylon sheath. It, of course, is handmade in China. Handmade in China, stainless steel. Probably never know what kind of steel it is. Put a spring to it. Edge feels nice, I don't know. It's actually not bad for a machete. Once again, there's that holdup, right? Right up there, same as the last knife. Well, that's actually really well sharpened for a machete. Very nice. I do some chopping, but number one, I can't really lift the stump right now with my gimpy shoulder, and Ethan is doing a fine job of debarking the whole thing, because that's his job today, he decided. Uh, that's actually really well edged for a machete. You usually don't see him this sharp. Very nice. So whatever kind of mystery steel this is, it came out of the factory very nicely done. And the weight and balance on it's really, really good for swinging. I'd probably take it to the shop and give it a Cerakote finish on the blade just to protect it a little bit. Um, it's a nice finish, but I think it could be, it could be nicer. Obviously, we're not going to get the, the handle off. It's pinned and finished that way, but... Um, I'd love to do a real hard use test on this guy. I really want to try this out. Being one of those handmade Chinese blades. Just see what it can do. I mean, it comes finished really, really nicely. There's not a lot to look at fit and finish wise because it's just two slabs of wood on a big metal plate, but nice. For $15.99, yeah, I, I think this is probably, this is worth $15.99, especially with it coming out of the box, ready to go wherever you are, you know, um, this, and this is basically the same price, one different, one digit off. Um, and the difference in finishing is, you know, amazing. So we're going to have to put this guy in the like it pile. Although, wait a minute, we didn't really look at the sheath yet. So the sheath is very simple. We've got plastic lining, zippers, 
and then a nice snap closure. It all holds really tight. Again, standard uh, one loop, um, but kind of standard for these types of machetes. Nothing special, but it doesn't change the fact that I would put this in like it. You can also use the sheet without unzipping it. It's pretty secure. So this goes and I like it on top of Taylor's chicken. So the Elite Box would cost you $89.99 a month. And they say the retail value is $135.88 for everything in this box. Now, of course, we already said you probably find stuff for cheaper. So the grand total adding everything up is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items like it, which might be a new new um, record for this box. One, two, three items in meh, and one, two items in don't like it. So guys, what do you think of stuff in this box? Anything you particularly like, don't like, agree with my ranking of it, don't agree with my ranking, stuff you'd like to see in the giveaway, stuff you'd like to see me throw in a burn pit and set on fire, let me know. Talk about it in the comments. Um, although they always get here late, it's just nice that the box got here, you know? Hey, Ethan, how's your work going? Yeah. It's going good? Yeah. All right, so I promised this boy some playing outside and some kicking a ball around and stuff, so I gotta wrap this up. So as always, as usual, check the links in the video description, link for the um, Discord server. Have some great discussions on there. Um, thanks to the Golden Atlas for setting that up. Link to the Facebook page, um, pictures and some heads up stuff there. I've got that poll going right now. If you would like to see me um, redo the knife box video, not redo, but do another knife box unboxing to see what they've got for us again. So you can go on up there and vote yes or no. Um, link to my Patreon page, check that out. I've, I've redone the rewards and everything for the different levels, so maybe you want to join up there and be part of that team. Um, and my email addresses. So, as usual, I appreciate every one of you. You are all absolutely awesome, and... Do you want to say it? Yeah. I'll be back with soon.